Hi everyone, uh, welcome to a new video and this time we are going to talk about inheritable forms. So uh, let's say that we have this simple application here and uh, what we want is when clicking on uh, each of these buttons, books, users, libraries and schools, to be able to show a new form that is uh, uh, gonna contain uh, for example some headers some footer and a db grid so that i can for example add uh, new uh, records meaning books users libraries or schools and also to be able to uh, edit existing or delete existing uh, records so pretty much what we need uh, are uh, in this case four very uh, similar forms but again different in some uh, uh, ways and for example they will be different in a, uh, in a way that uh, db grid looks because uh, books users libraries and schools will not contain uh, the same columns for example right but again everything else should be very similar so in order to uh, create uh, uh, those uh, additional forms we can uh, create a template form so i'll just create a new uh, vcl form okay and i'll just call this form uh, uh, for example here f input template okay and uh, i will uh, add a new label here i will align it to top and say uh, input uh, form okay i will change a font here say something like uh, 22 and justify it to uh, alignment uh, to to uh, center okay then i can uh, quick design and choose dialog to add um, the the uh, t panel with two uh, buttons and of course i can add additional buttons here so let's have this button here and uh, we'll call it info and when clicking this info button i'll show message input template uh, dialog okay so um pretty much uh this is uh the idea and of course we'll be adding db grid something like this and uh data source uh, the idea of data source is that it would be later linked to some data set and that data set can be for example here or in some uh, data module okay so uh, this is like a template uh, for each of the input forms that should be used for books users libraries and schools so now let's create the actual input forms uh, file new other and we are going to go here to inheritable items and uh, what we want is to create new input dialogs based on the uh, previously created input template dialog. So I'll click OK. And uh, a new form is created. And uh, we can now uh, see that the new form is nothing but the copy of our template here, right? But we can change uh, this copy in order to say not input form, info, uh, input uh, books, OK? And uh, well, let's just call this form when uh, clicking this uh, button here, books. So I'll just include the header and I'll say F uh, input uh, books uh, show model. Okay, let's see if I uh, change the name here. Uh, name, okay, F input books. Let's uh, run this. And uh, when clicking this button, books, now I can see uh, I have a new form here uh, with uh, its own uh, header. Uh, it has uh, inherited uh, pretty much everything uh, except we changed this uh, label here. And if we click this button, uh, it says input template dialog. And that is because uh, we inherited the behavior of uh, this info button because if we open this uh, unit uh, 3 and if we check the code here we don't see any code for uh, clicking a button uh, this button info right but uh, since this form is inherited from this uh, template form then it also inherited a behavior uh, and that is a button free click method 
so uh, that's why it shows the input template dialog but we can uh, override this uh, template implementation in inherited form so uh, by double clicking here and say it's not input template but input uh, books uh, dialog okay and now if I uh, run the application again I'll first need to uh, close this now I have uh, this input books dialog uh, clicking this button now I see uh, my own implementation this is the books implementation okay but everything else is inherited right and uh, also I can uh, well let's just add another form other inheritable items uh, again we will uh, inherit from input template and this time we will inherit for users okay so input uh, we'll just cha change this uh, to users okay and uh, we can also change the info button implementation so that it fits a better description for the users okay and um, well let's um, add the code so that we can show that form Okay, and um, let's just see if we uh, gave the correct name to this form. No, we didn't. And let's run this. So again, we have books, then we have input books, uh, input books dialog. Okay, and we have users, and we have pretty much very similar uh, input dialog, but again, the difference is in uh, this uh, caption here, input users and uh, the implementation on this uh, info, info button which now says input users dialog okay so uh, pretty much i believe you get the idea now that we can uh, create very similar force if we uh, very similar dialogues or forms if we are uh, using form in inheritance and uh, we don't just inherit uh, the components uh, we also inherit the behaviors or events uh, which of course uh, I have shown you now we can uh, override at will but uh, one another uh, big advantage of inherited forms is that uh, if we change the template so for example this is our template let's say uh, we want to uh, add a new button here okay uh, then if we look at uh, the inherited forms this is a books uh, it also got that button and users also got that button but for example users may want to have that button here and uh, uh, books want to have it here for example right and uh, all, also you can right click on any of the components and say revert to inherited which will uh, set it uh, to its inherited uh, location and uh, like I said, you can always override the location, you can always override the events. Uh, and also, uh, the idea here is that you cannot delete any of the uh, components on the inherited form. So for example, uh, I mean, you cannot delete anything that was inherited. So for example, I cannot delete this button here. Uh, selection contains a component button 4 introduced in an ancestor and cannot be deleted uh, but if I create my own uh, new component here on inherited form it can be deleted because it was not inherited and if uh, you have this kind of situation where you don't need something uh, from inherited form you can always select this button here and uh, set it uh, not to be visible for example visible is false and now if I run the application I click books and as you can see I don't uh, have this button for here but users uh, have this uh, button for uh, visible right and uh, that's uh, when it comes to uh, inherited forms uh, they are very useful when you work with very similar dialogues in this case uh, those were input dialogues and uh, you inherit both components 
and events but also you can override uh, both components and events and it's uh, very uh, especially useful if you uh, need to change something uh, later on uh, then you simply change the template and all those changes are automatically reflected on all inherited forms and uh, well that's it uh, and thank you guys uh, see you next time